The HBIC. Head Batty in charge. And Mia is up. A massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. It's hard to name a faster ascent to the top of NXT just over a year after her debut. Here we have the six foot tall powerhouse, Raquel Gonzalez, laser focused for tonight's matchup. Oh yeah, Raquel Gonzalez has the size, strength, and bad attitude to push just about any superstar in the women's locker room past their breaking point. No doubt she has only one thing on her mind tonight, and that is to impose her will on her competition. But across the way, she'll have to contend with the HBIC Mia Yim. Do your sensitive ears even know what HBIC stands for, Saxton? I do, but I'll paraphrase its meaning. It means Mia Yim is all about taking charge and delivering knockout blows. She's about bringing her straight toughness right to her opponent's face. Consecutive attacks keeping Mia off her game. Gonzalez has her opponent figured out. Ooh, what an elbow. A barrage of elbows over and over again. And Mia's HBIC moniker got tested a bit there. Yeah, as Gonzalez was possibly testing the limits of her opponent there. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Into a sidewalk slam! Wow! Awesome. Into the turnbuckle. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. This oh. is not good. Oh my God, all the way to the floor. And Gonzalez is showcasing her arsenal. And Mia needs to reassess her strategy. Mia Yim has earned some big wins in WWE, but tonight is the chance to earn another major victory. Corey, how does she go about Dude. doing that? She needs to keep her trademark toughness up. This is a woman who suffered a broken nose and fractured ribs in a match, but still kept going. That fighting spirit is key here tonight. Sliding back into the action. Oh, reversal catches Gonzalez. Each superstar trying. Submission. Strenuous effort here. I'm not sure. That not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break. This is a very powerful. <laughs> Can Mia come back from that? Cover. One, two, three. And that will about do it, folks. Superstar picks up. And we have a fight breaking out of the backstage area. Might as well warm up the ambulance siren now. These two are out to hurt each other. Ouch. to neutralize that arm. Trying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. Double stop. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Looking for the suplex. Power bomb! Oh, my gosh! Oh, gosh. Vicious double foot stomp. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. He manages to escape it. Oh. 
Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes... And their opponent, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner Imperium! Take a look at... Gonna be tough for this superstar to overcome the numbers tonight as they face two competitors. It won't be easy, but nothing makes a statement like overcoming the odds and winning in a handicap match situation. Tossed into the corner. Oh, oh right to the body. Down the hard way. Body European uppercut. Right to the midsection. I think it's fair to say that with any handicap match, ultimately the superstar or superstars who find themselves on the wrong side of the numbers game have to find a way to survive. Absolutely, Cole. Fighting to survive is paramount in a handicap match by any means necessary. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Trampling. Yeah. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Yeah. All the way up. All the way down. Eichner caught by surprise. <gasps> Finds the advantage after a string of counters. He skirts around it. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Look at this raw power. Sit up, power ball. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. Still, this is about as good a position you could hope to be in this late in a handicap match. He's returning fire. Bartel escapes the attack. Into the corner now. Oh, right across the top row. It'll grind the features right off your face. Oh, a weakening arm breaker. The shoulders and a crash gets the tag. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. That was just malicious. Insulting. He's expressing pain now. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Counter. And now there's an opening. Perhaps he needs suplex. Wrist clutch suplex. Perfect. Here he goes for the win. 
Still in with a quick kick out. How did he do that? Yeah. Kick gets caught. Belly to belly. That was impressive. Oh, look at this. Suplex. He gets tagged in. From behind, puts the leg. Explosive belly to back. Bartell can taste victory now. the extra mile in this win. I agree. What a win. This one felt special for the moment the bell rang. We knew it was going to be a show. Yeah. So much money it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxon, maybe you should ask Brian for a little loan. You can update. Ah, uh, whose house is it? It's Swerve's house. What does that make you, Saxon? Like the annoying neighbor who calls the cops when the music's too loud? That's not a very nice thing to say, Corey. And his opponent from Tacoma. Isaiah Swerve Scott, a fitting nickname for someone with no shortage of confidence and incredible athletic ability. Yeah, Swerve just exudes confidence at all times. Good, not arrogance, but it's that attitude that has fueled his rise. Well, Isaiah will have to come out on top tonight if he wants to start calling the ring Swerve's house. But he's facing one tough customer in the ring, Cameron Grimes, a second-generation superstar who learned the ropes among some of the Carolina's finest teachers. Living and breathing sports entertainment has really shaped Grimes into the athlete he is today. And now Grimes has all the handed-down wisdom a superstar needs to go straight to the moon. for something in the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. He's launched. Cameron Grimes doesn't have a lot of obvious physical vulnerabilities. Is there another tact an opponent can take to get the upper hand? You win the upper hand against Cameron Grimes by waging mental warfare. We've seen in the past that Grimes is not immune to getting shaken up. If you can get inside his head and shatter his confidence, this match could be yours for the taking. Huge toss. From behind! On a German suplex. And set him up. Oh, oh, yeah. yes. That's gonna hurt. Oh, oh, oh. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes yeah. himself to. Grimes gets intercepted. Tombstone and route. Wow. He thinks he has. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Attack right to the sternum. Ooh, well measured. Look at Scott, top rope. From the top, double star. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission hole. There is no doubt surrender is imminent. Pull out, trying to maneuver out. Dropping bombs right now, and escapes. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Two, three, no. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this 
match going. And Grimes is one step quicker. Swinging side effect. Don't know where Grimes learned that, but it's a heck of a potent attack. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an opening. an awesome win for this young man. Good thing we got the big screens out in the arena so that the WWE Universe can see this brawl for themselves. Oh, listen, the last thing these two are thinking about is an audience. If hate is too strong of a word, then these two dislike each other extremely intensely, in case you couldn't tell. Somebody's got to do something before somebody gets seriously injured back there. Saxton, you're a sissy. Schoolboy oh. takedown. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, oh, power bomb. bomb. Ah. Look at this raw power. Sit out, power bomb. position to be in right now. My goodness! The modern day Maharaja. The head of the table, the Tribal Chief, protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. Roman Reigns has a simple mission statement here in WWE. He just wants to wreck everyone and leave. And lately, that mission statement has been seeming more like a uh, yeah, it's hard to argue with the results Reigns has gotten from that more aggressive approach. We'll see if it's more of the same here tonight. And across the way is Jinder Mahal, a man who is as merciless as he is arrogant. Jinder claims he's on a healing journey to greatness, but I think he's clearly a villain. Saxton, I hate to break it to you, but there are no heroes and villains. Just men and Maharajas like Jinder Mahal. Striking. He went right into that turnbuckle. Shot that shot. And stopping away in the corner. Just ruthless. It seemed like the few people who have gotten the better of Roman Reigns have done so by employing weapons or other extreme measures. Do you think those kind of tactics are a necessity against the big dog? Well, Cole, the clever use of a steel chair would certainly help put Roman Reigns down for the count, but I don't think you have to go that route. If you can, catch Roman with some hard-hitting offense and continue the assault. It'll get the job done just as well as a weapon. Shot down. Shot. And an answer. The cover. Gets the shoulder up. Not even close to down and out at this point. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. Last handle. Oof. And the 
He's able to reverse. Reigns connects with a clothesline. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and driven down with a jackhammer. This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. Deadlift gut wrench suplex. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. He's struggling a bit here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Mahal felt that coming. Reigns across the attack. Oh. Mahal wants that attack off. Kick to the gut. Into the turnbuckle. Over and over and over. Covering close lines. Will it be? I think so. Paul fights the shoulder off and one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Knee. Oh, yeah. Let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Bad predicament right here. Ah. Ooh, him pointing the trick here. Stop it. the Intercontinental Championship. So much weight attached to this match. Yeah, but right now it's all about living in the present, in the now. That's the only way the champ's gonna get out of this with his title in tow. Face slam into a senton! Jumping elbow drop. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Power slam. Scrubbing the face on the canvas. Oh, an elbow drop for added measure. Yeah. Oh, drop. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, right to the body. That hurts. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. 
Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Boom, right across the small of the back. Scoop slam. Wait, no. Nope. Wow. Outrageous strength on display. And a bad landing. Thunderous power slam. Jumping elbow drop. The challenger not looking good right now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Able to reverse. And Zagiri finds its mark. It's become clear that AJ Styles is a lot breaking up. Few rules to win. How do you strategize for a competitor who isn't afraid to cross the line? Well, first off, Cole, AJ doesn't break rules. He simply bends them. And that's just strategy. But to answer your question, you... Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Byron's gonna love this. Dude Buster. Now that is why they're the champ. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. This superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think it's a...